Hi, it's Marin here from Ecom Ninjas, and today I'm going to show you a couple of different ways of how to display a PDF on your Facebook page. Alright, so first of all we need to install uh, a Facebook app, and the one I use is called Static HTML iframe tab by Webox. So you'll get asked to install this on your page. Um, because I've already installed it a few times already, uh, I don't need to click the green button, but if it's your first time, you need to click that one. Uh, I'm just going to click this one here. And then it's going to ask me which page I want to install it on. So I'll select that one. Okay, so the, the welcome tab has been installed. Um, we'll change the welcome name soon. Uh, you want to go to your settings off the tab and it will open it up in the Woobox website. Now, there's a couple of different ways to do this. Um, here is the URL that we're going to iframe, so we can put a URL in there. If you want to just redirect to an external website, put the, the um, link in there. If you want to upload an image, you can upload it there. And if you want to use HTML code to display um, a mini website, you can you can put it in there. But we're going to go back to URL. And there's a couple of different ways to do this. The best way to do it is to upload it to a website. So we've got a, a um, WordPress website here. Um, I'm just going to find the PDF and it's uploading. Once it's uploaded to our website, I can copy the URL. So click edit. Copy that and put it in here, height, um, I'll s change that to 1000 and that's all I do, I click save. So when I go back to our Facebook page and refresh it, it still says welcome here but the PDF will display in this box, as you can see here. It displays quite nicely. You can scroll down. Okay, so that's one way to um, display the PDF. Another way you can do this is go to your Google Drive. This is free, you can upload a uh, PDF to your Google Drive. Now we want to um, first of all get the viewable link so anyone with a link can view. Copy that. And then click these three dots here and select embed item and that's the code you want to copy. Go back to your Woobox account and then instead of URL put um, HTML and then paste the code in there and um, because that width is only 640 and it's about 800 the width of the uh, a Facebook page, so I'll just put 790 there, um, height I'll do 600, and then save. And so this will change from a PDF to uh, like a mini website. So you can see that looks slightly different, but it's still the same. Okay, so if you don't have a website that you can upload a PDF to, you can use the um, Google Drive version. Another one you, way you can do it, uh, if you've got a Dropbox account, 
you can create a free Dropbox account. Um, we've got a paid one because we use it for all our files. Um, upload it to your Dropbox account and then click on Share. And then copy that link and then put it, um, click on URL and you can put that, that link in there and that will link to it as well. Now, we need to change this Welcome tab here. Um, so we go to Tab Settings. And then click on change and then I've already created a little image and I'm going to change this to comp plan save and then when I refresh this you'll see it's changed to comp plan now there's just one more thing um, I'll show you on the left here these are all my apps that I've installed on the page. And you'll see the one I've just added there, which is Comp Plan. Now I want to move that one up the top here. So scroll up to where it says More, go Manage Tabs, and then you just want to drag that up there. And then it will refresh, and then um, it's right there under the cover image. Okay, and then when you scroll down here, you'll see the Comp Plan app tab just there. Now remember these Facebook apps, um, they don't don't display on mobile. So don't ever, um, like if I click on that, I can copy that URL and I can share that with people. But if someone clicks on that on their mobile, they won't see the tab. So it's really only for desktop viewing. Okay, and um, another cool thing with Woobox, you can just click one of these links. Um, some of them are paid, but you can install a Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, or a Twitter uh, app on your Facebook page uh, for free. So that's pretty easy to do. Hope this has helped, and we'll see you on the next video.